welcome Larry's RC room. Yeah, we've got our Enjora. If you've been following my posts and things through the social media, our Enjora inserts, our Enjora cracking tires with foams come in. Uh, we've got the Trail Vamp right here, which is a trail walker by Element Enduro, and it seems to be working pretty good. But I need something better for it. Deep Woods is what I've been running on it. They're really good. Uh, I like the Deep Woods tire. They seem to bite and conform real nice to multiple terrains. Dirt, rock, uh, sand. They seem to perform really nice. My problem is trying to find the right inserts for these Deep Woods. So I'm going, you know what? I want to try these Kraken tires out from Enjora too. A little bit bigger than the deep woods, okay? Not much, but just enough to where you can tell them apart. They are a lot more square than the deep woods. As you can tell, the deep woods are more rounded edged. So, I'm going to try these Krakens underneath this trail vamp, I do believe. That's where they're going to go. They're mud terrain, okay? Uh, they're a crawler tire, it says. And they're supposed to be some really nice performers. You can kind of see in them that they do have the lugs on them. And they've got the siping in the lugs. Now I've got the foam insert. That's in this one right here. You can see it's really, 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 you know, uh, soft. <laughs> pliable. And I've got the Enjora insert in this one. That's a lot stiffer. And I'd say... Once I mount it on a beadlock wheel, it'll be even stiffer than that versus this. Yep, this here has no kind of, yeah, no kind of firm whatsoever. These are going to, I think, I hope they're going to work. I've seen a lot of videos with them, uh, and I'm hoping with these Kraken mud tire, terrain tires, they're going to work fine. That's what I'm hoping for. We're going to put some weights here. We've, uh, we've got it set up to grams. The deep woods on these wheels for the front tire. 200, I think it was 270. Yeah, 270 grams right there. Yep. Now, the Kraken with the Enjoy insert by itself is 167. Yep, 167. The insert, you've probably already seen these weighted out, 70 grams, okay? And then the foam insert is 5 grams. So the tire with the foam insert on the Kraken is 102, yep, 101, 102, yep, 102. Scales are kind of touchy, but you just got to bear with me. So we're going to break these apart. We're going to mount these up. We're going to weigh these tires and inserts on this wheel. Again, let's go back to this right here. I think it was 270. Yep. 270. 270. 270 grams with that setup. I think with this setup, it's going to be a lot heavier, which is good for stability. But it's bad on some steep climbs. Uh, it can hurt you. Too much weight down low can hurt you. We're going to get right back with you. We're going to mount these up and see what we can do. That's the Enjora anti-foam inside the Deepwood stir track. And it does work. It does work. It fits right in there. It fills it up nicely. Okay. And I'm sure that my lock ring with the weights will go inside of all of this. Now these Deepwoods are still good and sticky. They're soft. They're pliable, man. I mean, they are really soft tires. That'll be a test with the Deep Woods and the Enjora. And we're going to test the Enjora with the Enjora on the trail vamp. We've got the scale back out here at zero grams. Now, I've got 270 with the Deep Woods dual stage and this weighted wheel. It's all together. As you can see, it's got all the screws in it. Okay. We're going to lay this sucker down here. Oh, let me make sure that's reading right. Yeah. 
347 grams and that combination right there that is one heavy duty thing right there it does slip around a little bit but I made sure everything was centered okay when I put that bead lock ring inside that insert I made sure everything was centered up I'm pretty sure that's going to be pretty nice I hope it's not going to be too stiff because of the added dimension of my wheel weights on that lock bead lock that lock ring there so to my knowledge that right there will go right here on this side of this truck with the tread pattern the way it is it should work out fine if I can hold it up there man I might have to hire in some help or you're just to hold this daggone thing up my goodness that thing is heavy duty that looks good too it really does that looks really good with this truck now you wonder what I'm running on this I'm running some 8 millimeter okay 12 hexes or 12 millimeter X but they're 8 millimeter thick it gives us a little bit of an offset versus a stock hex adapter so we'll put this nut back on here and we know for a fact that this front is done and we will lock her in there it is she is locked in there man oh man that's pretty also running some desert lizard shocks on this truck so we got to pull this one off and mount up this rear to that one and then we'll be in good shape we'll be going 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 as you can see I've got the brand new in Georgia wheels on here or tires on here I got yes the mud tread there the crockings and I've got the inserts in the in Jorah inserts I've got it on the scale and I and I tarred it out right here before I put my truck on it seven pounds 12.5 ounces okay total weight with this truck with these wheels and tires and inserts so this truck is ready to try and test with these tires and inserts all right we got our battery strapped in our trail vamp this is my trail vamp truck that I've uh, uh, taken yeah a few different things items and made made into it it was a trail walker uh, element enduro now I've got a 99 micro reefs uh, yep sitting there for my winch can and winch uh, I've got a Z lipo in there I've got light kit on it I've got back here in the back it's a magnet mount up here in the front I've got the I've got the body pin keepers so I'm gonna put this body on real quick see what we can do with it it just slams down like so yes put these body pins in we'll go for a ride I'm still running the stock servo in this I have not upgraded it so we're going to see what these mud claws will do on this rock these inserts so far so good looking of course that ain't much of a climb for it so we're going to go down this way see how she side hills pretty good side hill angle See if she stays intact. So far, so good. She's digging for it. She's a digging for it. Okay, I didn't see much tire give at all on that side hill performance. Oh, for this rock. I'm gonna watch these tires. 
these inserts and see how they perform. So far, so good. See what that does. driver still hooked up nice energy. I'm kind of in shadow in here just to see this I try to get my shadow out of the way See how these things perform with these Enjoras in the Enjora on this heavy weighted wheel. And show you guys what it does do. See if we can come around right there. Huh? Okay. Come around here, a little side heel action. All right. <laughs> Let's go to a different part right here. I want to see what this tire does. Well, that lug grabs old, doesn't it? Whatever it can find, that ain't bad. This is the back side of Skull Mountain. With the dirt tracks, deep woods, this trail walker RC would, from Element, would climb right up it. So, we're going to see what it does with these mud trains, cracking claws. We'll see how they, how they perform with it. Uh oh, brand new. And these inserts. Woohoo, baby. Yes. Now they're stick. I've got some sticks moved out of the way. And we'll see what he does here. Hopefully she'll climb on up here. I'm hoping so. With these cracking claws. Ooh. And these inserts. Well, had to give it a little bit of go-go at the start of it. Yeah, she climbed up there though. Hey, those inserts didn't fold up like the dual stage did in that little slot right there. They grabbed and went. So that's a plus. So here we are. I lost my... Uh, I lost my uh, little stob that was up there holding my skull up. So during that snowstorm, it it come out and we threw some sticks and branches down on it. And I said, well, maybe that'll open up a different testing ground. I hope. We're going to back it around and see what it'll do right here. See if these claws will do anything. See if they'll claw themselves up here. Oh yeah, a little bit of uh-uh, a little bit of gap-gap, well, looky there. Woo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> I had to save it. Yeah, we'll see what she does. See what these inserts and these cracking claws do. come down here and finish killing my skull that's a pretty good drop off right there see. we're gonna see what she'll do I got to get it turned in a little bit a little touchy on the reverse with this truck 
Ho ho ho! She stayed true. She come down quick, but she stayed true. <laughs> it's running all stock electronics. You can kind of see the debris on the rock right here. We're going to see what she'll do climbing up that debris, that dirtiness. Ooh, made her slip. Ha ha ha, Tommy tip over. Ooh, that loose debris kind of puts a damper on this side of this rock now. Yeah. at it. Sliding on it. Are you gonna go? Oh yeah. She finally bounced herself up in there. <laughs> oh yes. A little bit of body rub there. Right there is a good spot. See what this thing does for conformity. Hmm. Definitely ain't pushing out the side wall, that's for sure. Not at all. Three hundred and what was that? Three hundred and forty grams of weight up in the front. Now the back's got a couple less pieces of weight on them, but I've still got it weighted pretty heavily, so I would say it's right around 300. Hmm. A little right there at an eight pound truck running the blue inserts from Enjora. Let's go take another testing spot. Crevice turn right here. So far, so good. Hmm. Not a problem there. Yeah, let's see what she does. Oh, yeah. You know what the true test of fate is here? This dead man's flank. We're going to climb up this dead man's flank with these tires and see what she do. Come around this way just to play. Climb up the net. Oh, right up and over. On top of the lid. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay, we're going to come right at this direction. Right up and over shipwreck run with a shipwreck run lid on it. See what it'll do. See if it'll bite that plastic and keep going. On that wood too, yes. Alright. Yeah, I probably ought to take the lid off of this thing and see what it does. See if it'll bite this plastic run. Oh goodness gracious, that's not a problem, that is not no problem, <laughs> wow, that was no problem, dead man's plank, we're up on it, hey, no issues whatsoever. Uh-oh. Well, that's bad driving on my part for sure. Crash and burn. Well, that crash and burn done something I wasn't expecting it to do. My front body post that I had to make to mount this body on there snapped completely off. Huh. That ain't no good. Back to the drawing board on that aspect, huh? That's all right. We're going to run it anyway. Front post or not. Here we go, baby.
<laughs> There's that tire conforming. That tire conforming. Now remember, these are considered mud treads, and they are definitely lugged out like mud treads, but let's see what that's looking like. Oh, yeah. Huh. Like I said, we'll have to get back in the hobby room now and try to come up with a body post fixing way here. <laughs> oh. oh, trail vamp. I didn't mean to break you, trail vamp. Out here doing a test run. Just to see if she'll grab. Huh. Come back up here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, hook that front tire in there. All the weight on the back. It's just barely compressing. up through there. Hmm. Let's get her on up here now. See if she'll walk up through here. Come on trail vamp, you can do it. I've seen you do it with the dirt tracks. Let's see what these enjoyers will do. So far so good. knob right there mess up the band line ain't no doubt about that that conforming is. He's conforming some. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Conformed right in there. Now we got the weight on the other side. Let's see what it looks like. It's conforming around there. It's grabbing anyway. Not too shabby test unless I hit this torque teeter with it and see how she climbs up the back side of this torque teeter. You know it's slippery. Ho ho ho. Yes. She climbed right up through there. Not a problem. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it's well, there's some flex in that tire. Come on, baby. There we go. She bit. There's some flex, look at that. Yes. Enjoy it, insert. I'd say as, as I wear them in, they will probably flex more and more. <laughs> Don't want to roll it off of that rock. Now, without the front body post being attached to anything. 
don't really want to tear none of my stuff up. I enjoy it too much. Oh yeah, come on up through there. Come on, trail vamp. Let's see what you got. Oh, hook in there. Grab it. There you go. Oh, yeah. I hope I'm getting all this on video. <laughs> hey, I think these Enjora Blue inserts are pretty good for an almost 8-pound truck. Uh, that's what this one is uh, with all the weights and everything and all the other accessories that I've got on it and in it. Uh, yeah, I think it'll work. Um, these tires... I'll have to get used to them and get them broke in some. And I do believe they'll be in good shape. See if I can crawl down off of there from down here. Can't really see my line on that other side, but we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> yes. See if she'll climb up through here. Hey everybody, I appreciate y'all watching this video. I know it's kind of long, and I, I did drag it out some, but um, I can recommend these Enjora inserts and these tires too. Uh, in my opinion, they're very, very good. Um, but thank y'all. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please click the like and the subscribe buttons. And if you would, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've got these Injera inserts, then leave me a comment and tell me what you think about these things. If you haven't tried these tires, then please try these tires out, man. I think they're pretty neat. Uh, they've got some pretty good grip. So appreciate y'all laughing, playing, having fun, RCing. Hey, stay safe and play healthy. Do something good for somebody.